Hey everyone, this is Kristen with Living Able. Oh, I'm so glad to uh, be back here. It's been a couple of weeks since I've posted, so I'm super excited that I have um, some time to, to post some videos. Uh, lots of exciting things have been going on. Um, I actually graduated from cosmetology school last night, um, so my nights are now a little bit more free. Um, I actually was asked to do um, help do makeup for an Easter production as well, so I will be doing that. Um, for a week starting on the 15th. So I've got a lot of cool things going on, but I have a couple of days here that I am able to post some videos and so I'm super excited because I've missed you guys and I know that you guys have missed my videos. I, th I thank you guys for the support and for all your comments that uh, you uh, leave me. They mean the world to me. I love hearing your testimonies on how my videos have helped you, uh, you know, and uh, more ideas that you have for me. I I'm running out of some ideas here, so anything that you see that you would like to see me do, um, or know how I do, or questions you want to ask me, maybe we could do a question and answer session. That would be super cool. Um, so just leave me comments and let me know. Um, that would be great. So um, we're at 43,000 views. It just absolutely blows my mind. Um, I haven't even been doing this five months so I'm super excited I just I just way way more than I've ever expected so I, I'm super excited and glad to know um, that you guys are finding this kind of stuff helpful so now let's get into today's video today I'm going to show you um, how to change a, a toilet lid and it sounds really simple and kind of silly, like why, why is this something that I need to learn how to do? Um, the reason is that when I moved into this apartment here, um, you know, I really didn't think to to pay attention to that kind of thing. Uh, I just, you know, I figured a toilet lid is a toilet lid, but um, I've soon figured out that if the toilet lid is too rocky, that uh, one, you could either fall on the floor, or two, your cell phone can get ruined. <laughs> your cell phone can get ruined because you're trying to keep yourself from falling in the floor, which is basically what happened to me about a week ago. When I've known that the toilet lid was, uh, was loose for over a year, and I just never did anything about it. So anyways, I finally decided I was tired of ruining cell phones and different things like that, so I was going to change my toilet lid. So that is exactly... What I'm going to do, I'm going to show you guys how really easy it is to do. You can do it either from your wheelchair or getting on the floor. I'm, I'm going to show you guys a clip on how I did part of it over, like in my wheelchair over top. Um, so I will um, put that clip there as well. But I'm going to do most of this from the floor because I feel like most people would do it from the floor. Um, that you, you would have more stability with things to lean up against and that kind of thing. Um, if you need it or if you got help, I figure most people will sit on the floor and do it anyways. So that is what I'm going to do. Um, one thing I want to say about bringing your cell phone into the bathroom. If you're a wheelchair user or if you, if you have balance issues, that kind of a thing, bring your cell phone into the bathroom. That's the reason I do it because I have fallen before and needed help to get off the floor, you know, whatever the case is, and I, I was glad I had my cell phone, and um, I know different work and stuff like that, they made me have to take it um, in case something like that did happen. I did have that happen at work one time, and I had to call somebody to get me, because I couldn't with the floor and my chair, like, it just wasn't working for me to pull myself back up. So bring your cell phone into the bathroom if you have any kind of um, balance issues or if you're in a wheelchair, that kind of thing. You just never know what you're going to need. So I will say that. Um, now I guess we'll go ahead and get into the video. Alright, first thing I'm going to do is get into the floor. And it's not going to be pretty. <laughs> um, later on I will do a video on like fully me getting into the floor and back up into the chair again. I will do that, but that's not what this video is about. But I will show you guys me getting into the floor. Um, just so you can just, I guess, see how I do it. So I'm going to do that. Always put your brakes on first. That's what you do. Oops. 
sure your pants are up when you're recording. And I just lower myself. I have my hands. I'm grabbing the back of my wheelchair. I know you can't really see. But I'm grabbing the back of my wheelchair and just lowering myself. My seat cushion is going to come with me. Again, I know what I'm doing. And I'm actually grabbing the toilet as well. As I lower myself onto my footrest. Um, I don't want to just throw myself on the floor. So I'm kind of trying to give myself a little bit of things. So let's see. Okay, you want to make, sh the biggest thing about lowering yourself into the floor is you want to make sure that you're not coming down on your legs. So, you know, and you want to make sure that you're not going to pull your show chair over. I'm controlled with this, so I know what I'm doing. So, if you can't do that, where you know that your feet rest are going to catch you, don't do it. Do it, um, if you have the feet rest that move out of the way, move them out of the way and then just lower yourself. Lower yourself to the floor. So that's what I'm doing there. Alright. And so now I am in the floor. I'm turning with this wrist with the screwdriver and I'm I'm holding the, the, the like bolt underneath the toilet underneath here. I'm like just holding it still that way they don't both just keep turning and and it never, you know, come undone. So that's what I'm doing with me being over top of the toilet using my forearm to balance myself on the toilet here. Same thing over here on this side a little bit harder because you have to like lean this is why this is why I think it's easier to get in the floor like, this is why I think it's gonna be easier to get on the floor but I want to show you guys how it can be done this way as well and on this side I'm finding it easier to hold this one still hold the screwdriver still and actually turn turn the bolt underneath just because of the way that I'm laying I feel more stable doing it that way so that's what I'm doing
and I don't know if it's common or not, but normally it is righty tighty, lefty loosey for these things, and you know, to get it to get the, the toilet lid tight or not. Um, but I was actually turning the the bolt that's underneath. I was actually turning it to the right, and it was coming loose. So. I'm not exactly sure how that works. Here, get that in there. There we go. All right. I'm gonna put this on the floor because I'm going to also show you guys how to do this from the floor. So now I'm in the floor. I moved my wheelchair out of the way. I am going to get this old toilet lid off of the toilet. So I'm moving over here. You'll be you should be able to see me in just a minute. Alright. Alright. So alright, something I forgot to tell you is when you're getting in the floor, you want to make sure that all your tools, all of your bolts, that kinds of things, the screws, anything that you would need, your extra toilet lid or whatever you're changing, make sure that they are out on the floor with you. That way you can reach them. I just had to use my reacher to try to get the screwdriver out of the sink because I left it up in the sink. So anyways, um, make sure you have all everything down. So what I'm doing, I'm literally just taking this off here, opening the little flaps that expose the screws. I have one hand underneath the toilet, and then I am using the screwdriver to do that and get this 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 done. And done. you on the opposite side of where you are, you will probably have to move to the other side of the toilet. My arm is long enough to reach to the back of the toilet. I'm unscrewing part of the screw now. To hold it still while you unscrew this part underneath. I'm just literally holding this top part still. Now if I didn't have my camera and I'm trying to show you guys what I'm doing, so there's that, I would be able to get like right in here and do it myself so that way then I would be leaning up against the wall you know and have a light you know, lots of back support and that kind of thing. Wouldn't have to worry about toppling over. All right, so the old toilet lid is off. The next thing I wanna show you guys is the difference in the two toilet lids that I have. So I'm going to put them side by side and show you guys the difference. All right, here are the two toilet lids that we have. All right, this is the old one. And as you can see, there's just these two little flaps here. Um, that's it. That's just a little bit of support. If you're able to balance well, that kind of thing, then this might be fine for you. Um, one of the issues that I was having is there's just this little tiny, like, plastic bolt that loves to just come out as you can see on this side it doesn't want to it's already starting to come out and that's what was happening when I was on the toilet that it would just the bolt would come out and it would literally be falling off with me on it so that was the issue that I was having 
before and when you transfer sometimes you don't realize how much you're pulling on stuff and how much you're sliding so I would be I would be pulling myself back into my chair and it would be going like this and it would be you know working this this bolt out here so that's my old one my my new one has a whole backbone here that will secure it more now this toilet lid was like fifty dollars at Home Depot or Lowe's or one of those places so um, it's expensive but it's well worth it for it to not move when we're done um, so other other than that it's the same with these the two sides it just has a more of a backbone which helps secure it and stabilize it so that's what you want to look for this one also has like a, a slow release lid which I think can be good um, well it's not very slow right now but anyways it is slow when you put it on so you don't want to get hit with the other one just falling on you because that can that can mess you up as well so those are the two the two lids and the difference so I wanted to show you guys that so now we're going to go ahead and put it back on put the new one on all right so we're ready to put on the new toilet lid gotta get everything ready make sure you have everything that you're gonna need so like that one I have a lid and I have the bolts on the floor where I can reach them. Alright, so I'm, I am moving over to the side here. Okay. Alright. First thing you want to do is line this up. So you can line up the holes. Okay. All right. Putting since this is slow release, this back piece doesn't go down as quickly. All right, and I'm putting one bolt in like that. Putting the other bolt in. That way they're lined up with the holes. And you want to kind of balance that, but I think what I'll do is I'm going to hold this up, start screwing on the underside with my finger. So if I set that up, I know you can't see over here, but I can see the bolt still. So 
holding it with the one screw. still the one underneath and move the one on the top then and, and then do it that way. Oh. This is seeming to be easier for me. It's gonna fall down. See it's slow. That's good. And then once you get the bolts part at the top, like farther than it can go, like the farthest it can go without turning, you then I'm gonna start using this screwdriver to bring down the screw the rest of the way to make sure it is absolutely as tight as it can get. So we don't have the same issue that we were having with the other one. All right, so now, can move over. I can shut that flat piece. All right. I'm gonna move over to the other side now. Uh, in between the wall and the toilet here, and that's helping stabilize me. I'm using my arm to also hold me a little bit on there. Yeah. Feeling for the little. It's not the easiest, not the easiest thing to do in the world, but you know, it can be done and you don't have to pay anybody to come in and, and do it. It probably would cost you 50 to 100 bucks to pay somebody to come in and do it. So there you go. That's how you can do it. Now I can take the toilet lid with me when I move. Seems so, so silly, but pay $50 for it and chances are the next place that I go, it will be a cheap lid as well and I will want to you know use this better lid as well so now I've paid for it I can take it with me and uh, we're good to go I don't have to worry about dealing with that I also don't have to worry about falling uh, you know on the toilet anymore so there you go so um, please leave your comments suggestions for future videos um, let me know what you think and visit us at facebook.com forward slash living able and have a great day. Bye-bye.